boys and girls. Today we're going to read a book called Wadney Watts Wobot. It's by Helen Lester. She wrote the book that we'd read the other day about Wadney Watt. She also wrote all of the books about Tacky the Penguin. We're going to read this book and compare it to the books about Tacky the Penguin and the book about Wadney Watt and see how they're the same and how they are different. Wadney Watt's Wobot, written by Helen Lester. It was Wadney Watt's birthday. His real name was Rodney Rat, but he couldn't pronounce his R's. But never mind. Wadney had just unwrapped something. What a terrific present! Thank you! What is it? His friends hopped up and down in excitement. It's a robot! It's a robot! See that button on its nose? asked Grizzlefizz Guinea Pig. Push it in and whisper pickle, suggested Minnie Feet Mouse. Wadney pushed the button and whispered pickle. Pickle, said the robot. Harry Hamster hiccuped. Now, he said, try having the hiccups is very annoying. Wadney pushed the button and whispered, having the hiccups is very annoying. Having the hiccups is very annoying said the robot. I don't think it, I think it even helps me pronounce my ahs, squealed Wadney. What a great contraption, a talking robot. Everyone wanted to try it. Wow, was it fun. Why do you think Wadney thinks that a talking robot is such a great contraption or such a great thing? What is it about the robot that he likes so much? In the cafeteria, he whispered, May I please have some ribs and rice? May I please have some ribs and rice? At gym time, he whispered, Will you please waste me up to the swings? Will you please raise me up to the rings? And when Miss Fuzzleworth asked Wadney the sum of one of two plus one, that means two plus one, what is the answer? He whispered, three. Three, said the robot. I wonder why Miss Fuzzleworth is allowing him to bring this toy to school. What do you think? What is so special about this toy that a teacher would let him bring it to school? I'm having a barrel of fun, giggled Wadney. A barrel of fun, until one morning. Howdy, partners, I'm back, thundered Camilla Capybara as she burst into the classroom. Teeth rattled, whiskers twitched, and eyes stared in disbelief. Everyone thought Camilla was gone west forever. You don't look any smarter. She thumped Grizzle Fritz and Harry on the head. You're sure not any bigger. She lifted Minnie Feet and Wadney up by the collar. And, she added, sweeping pencils and papers off of Miss Fuzzleworth's desk and plunking herself down, I'm still the, mean the world's meanest rodent, so there. Miss Fuzzleworth said in a trembling voice, Camilla, dear, we thought you had gone west. What does trembling mean? Hmm. Why would Miss Fuzzleworth's voice tremble? How do you think everyone feels now that Camilla is back? And I've got the hat and the top of the line boots to prove it, bellowed Camilla. I went west, and I kept going west, and kept going west, and kept going west all the way around the world until here I am. You'd better believe it. They believed it. So the rattled rodents and twitching teacher had to live with Camilla and all of her shenanigans. Until one day, it was quiz time. All of her shenanigans. I wonder what the word shenanigans means. 
all of Camilla's shenanigans. What kind of things does she do? Those are her shenanigans. So one day it's quiz time. Many feet, asked Miss Puzzlewort. How many eggs are in a dozen? Twelve, replied Minifeet. Even a baby knows that, snorted Camilla. Miss Fuzzleworth continued. Grizzlefritz, what is the largest member of the rodent species? The capybara, answered Grizzlefizz. All right, boomed Camilla, flexing her muscles. Now it was Wadney's turn. What is the shape of the world? Wadney pushed his robot's button and whispered, wound. Shape of the world, repeated Miss Fuzzleworth. Wound, Wadney said in a louder voice. What is happening with Wadney's robot? Something's wrong with my robot, squeaked Wadney, pushing the nose a button again. Camilla danced around the room chanting, Na 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 na, someone's got a stutter, er, 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 someone's got a stutter. That's not very nice, is it? Then the er, er, er changed to er, whoa. Camilla stopped dancing. If there was one thing that frightened her, it was growly things. Things that went roar like tigers she hid under a desk. Or grizzly bears she hopped up on the windowsill. Or lions. Now she was behind the bookcase. Why is Camilla hiding from the robot? And then the robot was silent. Nothing, not a peep. Something's wrong, very wrong, terribly wrong with my robot. I think it has quoked. A big tear fell on Wadney's foot. Feeling safe in the silence, Camilla stomped out from behind the bookcase. Her mean eyes scanned her classmates. Don't you know anything? She whipped a gown out of her saddlebag and put it on. What a bunch of bozos. Snap. On went the rubber gloves. How clueless can you get? Now the surgical mask. All that robot needs is a new battery. Duh. Reaching into the bottom of her bag, Camilla pulled out a battery. Picked this baby up in China, she announced. Ka-chung. Out went the old. Ka-ching. In went the new. Now try it, doofus. I'm grateful, whispered Wadney. I'm grateful, said the robot, and I might just be leaving, stated Camilla. I'm much too smart for this class. I could go to high school for my PhD, after all, but no, there ought to be some brains in this place. You need me here, so there. The only sound to be heard was the rattle of rodent teeth. Then at that horrible moment, Wadney pushed the robot's nose button and whispered, said the robot. Camilla, who had been about to plunk herself back on Miss Fuzzleworth's desk, plunked down on the floor instead. Why do you think Wadney pushed the robot's button again? What is he hoping would happen? Wadney pushed the button again. Woo, 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 woo. Arr! Camilla rolled herself into a ball and rolled out the door. And now everyone cheered, Hooray for Wadney the Wat! Hooray for Wadney Wat's Wobot! And as for Wadney, he had a wonderful time playing with his robot, but sometimes he gave it a west. Was there a lesson learned in this book? What lesson do you think the author is trying to teach us? How is this book similar to other Helen Lester books, like the other Tacky books or the other Wadney book? How is this book different?
Don't forget to talk about this book with your parents.